Watu noin. Joe, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, David Jr. here. Coming live and clear from this amazing person. Say my hello. Hello, hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is his place, guys, you know. It is a traditional African village house. This is how it, it is. This is uh, his utensils. Actually, he's so special to me because he took care of me when I was young, guys. What I mean, he was babysitting me, so he's so special to me. And one day for sure, I'll come and surprise him to build a good house here, man. So on today's video, which is very, very special, I want to be taking you to my grandpa's place. I want to show you the renovation, the progress, guys, and it is amazing. I know you want to love it, so kindly give the video a like. Because that's the best way to appreciate me. And also subscribe to the channel, guys. And more amazing videos are coming for sure. So, Chacha, tuende uko penye na jenga nyumba. So, what I've told him... I've told him that I've told him that I've told him that I've told him that I've told him we unyu kogologa unyu ba acha nionge acha nionge he just interrupted me guys so i just told him to take me to the place that i'm constructing uh the house for grandpa so funga mlango yako twende hii ni nini una una ugoro this is ugoro guys you know it's kind of a drug that he sniffs right here but i'm not uh I'm not promoting any drug guys, but I had to show you like the real situation here. Funga mlango ako twenty. So he's closing his door. Guys, let me show you how he closes his door, eh? Just like this. This is his padlock right here, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Village life, very simple. And Aria. we're not complaining, we're just living life, guys, eh? Just like that. Uh. He's called Chacha. I'm asking him. I'm just asking him because uh, you can see, guys, how he just closed his door. What if people come and maybe take advantage of him and steal his item? But he say. There are no people that can steal here. To pitch up. So to pitch up is like passing here. That's what I have told him. So in the mm -hmm. Shamba Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so guys, this is his farm. He's pra he's planting the arrow roots right here. And also these are bananas, guys. This is how the place looks like. And all of these belongs to my grandpa all of these guys actually from the place i'm walking to the to the place that i'm constructing it belongs to my grandpa so he's showing me this where he he's preparing the land for planting guys it's almost planting season here and this is how it is this is how it is hey si maisha kwa shamba kubwa Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, sorry for the. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Takua. He's asking me if these uh, arrow roots will grow. And I'm just giving him hope. They want to be alright. Yeah. So, guys, typically we're working at my grandpa's uh, land. This is how it is. Plenty of sukuma wiki or the kills, you know, it's one of the popular food uh, veg that we have here in Kenya, guys. The sukuma wiki right here. This is how it is. Is sukuma wiki near nine? Okay. Okay. I just asked him the the one of this sukuma wiki or the kills. He's telling me it, it, they belong to my uncle's wife. Atupiti apa? Apa ndio karibu? Guys, these are maize stalks we just uh, harvested. Uh -huh. Yeah, guys, we already harvested. Now we're preparing the land uh, for planting. Hey. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is my grandpa's land. It's technically, inside my family's land. All of these. 
This how it is, guys. This how it is. Chacha to Napita, Apa, Pita, too. Eh, Apos in Tadungo. Hey, guys. This place I have to wear gumboots because my shoes, they are not allowing me to pass in such places. But let's go, guys. I want to show you the progress of the house that we've been constructing, guys. Today, my masons, they were plastering and also splitting the timbers. So, let's go. And these are traditional veds, guys, right here. It's called Manag, right here. Right here. Yeah. My grandpa, he's a farmer, guys. You see? Coffee right here. Yeah, this is our land. Plenty of bananas, guys, from the far end. That's Chacha, the person who took care of me when I was young. Hey. Mm -hmm. So he's showing me around. All of this belongs to the family, guys. We're super blessed. Very blessed. Actually, I saw in the comment section, guys, people were asking me, Davy, why does your grandpa not sell this land so that maybe he can live the good life, guys? I have to tell you, these are matrimonial property, guys. It's not advisable to sell this kind of land. You know, when you go astray, it wanna act like a curse. So he has to preserve this. You know. These days it's kind of awkward in courts, I have to say how it is because this new generation of ours, we just sell the properties and everything without knowing how it was acquired. For instance, guys, I know this may sound uh, kind of disrespectful, but in, uh, in, real, uh, in real life, it is how it is. Like for me, where we are staying, where we are staying, our home. I will take over it, you know, and that's the reality, guys. So I have to ensure our property is well maintained, you know. So, yeah, I thought I should tell you that way so that you can understand, you know. Yeah. Banuna beba chupa. I'm asking him the bottle. Mm. It's for what purpose? Mm. Mm -hmm. We just harvested the maize. These are the livestock guys here. And we almost at my grandpa's place. Yeah, guys. Wow. This is bananas right here. This is um, napier grass for the cows. Nine? Oh, you are some joy. She's asking me. Oh, you are some joy. So, guys, we want to trespass here. <laughs> Actually, we almost. That's the house I've been uh, renovating, guys. Eh? Well, this is how we pass here. Okay, and I have to be very careful of the thorns, guys, like right here. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, guys, welcome to my grandpa's place. Actually, this place, it wanna be memories to me because uh, I've done a good job here, guys. A good job for sure. So, for those who know, who don't understand these guys, because I do understand every single day we got new people on the... On our YouTube channel, I came to this place close to two weeks right now, and I started renovating this house for my grandpa because it was in a total mess, you know. So, yeah, let me show you the progress, guys. So already we're done with this house right here. We already done. I painted it. I I installed the tiles, guys, and I don't take it for granted because. You people made it possible. That's Chacha, the person who took care of me. So, yeah, the house looks nice, guys. And today we're here. It's like a dream come true, man. You know? 
I extended my hand of generosity to come up with these peach latrine guys. This is how it is. And it's so nice just to make this a dream in reality, guys. So today we've been plastering. This is how it is. These are the walls, guys. Eh? It looks nice. So these are the ventilations that I want to be installing soon for them to allow air to come inside the pitch latrine, guys. So this is the floor right here. Soon I want to be making it look good. But for right now, this is the situation, guys. Wow. Guys, look at the walls. This is the vent pipe. Actually, it's so long. It goes from the far the far end up to here down guys so right now you cannot see it because it is it has already been plastered you know so these are uh, actually guys one of the things that you should know it's uh this where she wanna be taking shower that i mean my grandpa and also this is his pit latrine right here so this is how it is guys i'm so proud of myself oh man Wow, it's so humbling. Look at the corners, guys. Look at the corners. Eh? And uh, let me get in the comment section, guys. Which color should I paint these uh, pit latrine? <laughs> wow, guys. This is how it is. And it's so big. It's so big. I had to make it massive, you know. Yeah, guys. So let me take you to where we've been. Uh, Splitting the timbers. I want to show you the progress because soon I want to be roofing this toilet Pit latrine. Sorry guys. I'm used to the toilet but It is a pit latrine. Yeah, so let me show you the progress that We've been doing it. Say my hello This is the daughter to my grandpa. Why is him to Yeah, just say yes guys you know, I, I heard maybe some people, they were doubting, but it's the real truth, guys, you know. So, let me show you these. Uh, these are rafters that we've been uh, splitting timbers. The leftovers, I mean. So, inside here, we have the timbers, guys. And these want to be enough for me to roof the pitch latrine, guys, eh? Big shout out to my grandpa. He made this possible because uh, he reduced the expenses of me buying the timbers right here. This is how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. So um, thank you, thank you a million times. I really appreciate. And if it is your very first time on this YouTube channel, guys, we did this. Huh? We did this. Very amazing. And I love the fact that they are cleaning this house. Eh? Look. Oh, let me take you inside. Look at the tiles. Look at the floor, guys. That's my grandpa eating. Unakula nini soko? Ugali. Ugali. Oh, this is ugali, guys. Yamaindi. Yamaindi. Meaning, he just told me he is uh, eating ugali, which is the one of the staple. Actually, it's the staple food here in Kenya. From mind is flat no it's maize so and this is cabbage enjoy cabbage. Eh? <laughs> cabbage. Mm -hmm. so guys you can see the bed it's not made right now because i have a crazy story to tell you so today i came here and i found uh, the house was not uh, properly arranged and i had to speak louder guys to raise my voice so they came and uh, made it, make it look uh, presentable right now. So that's my grandpa. He's uh, eating. I don't want to disturb him that much. But you can see things look nice, guys. This house was in a total mess. I have to say how it is, guys. But because of you people, you made it look like this. <laughs> my grandpa living life, guys. Eh? and it's a blessing man just to have a voice and uh, to share my stories to you people and also she's a source of inspiration man david jr did this for his grandpa and it wanna be memories for sure memories so Salam. guys let me end this video right here Salam. with the person who took care of me yeah,
Chacha. Nataka kuambia watu story yangu na yako. Story yangu na yako. Mimi na guys, let me okay, pole kwa kukatiza. Let me translate. I just told him because guys, I have to translate in English because I have an international audience. Maybe people from the US won't understand when we 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 speak with him in Swahili. So he will be speaking and I will be translating. Chacha. Yeah. Ulinilea ni kwa mtoto mdogo. Yeah. Ulikuna ni beba kwa mgongo. Yeah. Angania camera si usikuwe shy huko. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, I was ask, I just asked him if he was taking care of me when I was young and he just said yes, yes, yes. Hey, ndio. Ulikuwa ni beba kwa mgongo. Ndio. Sasa tunatembea. Mhm. Mm Naoga. Mm -hmm. mm. So he's telling me we used to he used to wash me when I was young when we we are we we used to walk to different places because I do remember when I was young my mom she was a teacher guys eh? my mom she has been teaching over 30 years so you can imagine guys so this is the person who was taking care of me when I was young and I have a lot of respect to him guys Total respect to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll be helping him, guys. Soon, soon. Actually, guys, I have a big project that is coming up soon as possible because I feel like I should extend my hand of, uh, of uh, generosity to help my uncle to finish his house, guys. What do you think about that suggestion? Let me get in the comment section below, guys. From this amazing beautiful village of ours of my grandpa thank you so much for the love we'll see you in our next one greetings from here in the village bye 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 <laughs> yeah guys bye